Hi guys, it's Root Junkie here, and I've got a video for you on the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. And what I'm going to show you today is how to get a, a performance upgrade. It's actually a mod, a mod by a guy in XDA, and it gives you a performance upgrade. So let me see if I can just show it to you really quick. This is the XDA post on it, um, and I'll give you a link to this in the video description. But basically, you have to download this um, performance upgrade pack. Z a uh, 7Z so that's a 7 zip uh, zip so you gotta download it to your computer and then use 7 zip to extract it and then um, take the files and put them on your SD card or internal storage it really doesn't matter either way um, so just make sure that you when you download you don't download it directly to your device unless you have something that can unzip dot uh, 7 Z um, zips or compressed files or whatever you want to call it. So that being said, make sure they're on your device. I'm going to show you where mine are at. Here is ES File Browser, my favorite file browser. And mine I put on my external SD card and I actually put them in ROMs. And basically you should have these two files right here. Boom and boom. Um, pretty simple. And make sure those are on your device and you know where they're at. All right, so once you do that, um, another note I would guess I would make you is um, Right now, this thing is on this updated version um, of the Tab 3 7 inch. So I'm actually running this 4.2.2 uh, and I'm running uh, this Blackhawk kernel. Um, so if you're on a custom ROM, I think this will work on any, any ROM on this device, but I just don't know. Um, I would say for sure it would work on stock, but because um, that's what this mod is developed for, but you never know. That being said, it's always good to make an Android backup in case something gets messed up doing this process. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it and show you how this is going to function. So, wow, all I have on here is kids games for my kids. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery. So to do that, we're gonna just power off. Actually, will this let me do a restart? No, it won't, okay. We'll do a power off and we'll get into recovery. So to get into recovery, um, basically what you gotta do is you gotta hold the home button down here at the bottom. You've got to hold the, shoot I can't remember if it's volume up or down, and then power. Uh, I think it's volume, I think it's volume up. Let's go ahead and try those. So home, volume up, and power. And then let go of power when you see that screen and keep holding up and home. Yeah, that is the combination. So this is Team One Recovery Project. This is obviously going to be a prerequisite for um, installing this performance upgrade, which is you know obvious. So you got to have recovery, probably need to have root access, all that kind of stuff going on for this really to function correctly for you. All right. So all that being said, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into this install. All right, so another thing I can tell you guys about this is this also is going to probably require root access. So if you have root access, that's fine. We're good. If you don't, go ahead and download this app actually right here. I'll show it to you. This is going to be, let's see if I can get to where my uh, SD card is at. And then go to downloads. Um, you're going to want to download this Super Su Zip and flash it. I actually don't have root access on this device, so I'm going to go ahead and do this really quick. All right, there you go. So that's done. So we'll go back, and that means I have root access. All right, so that's all your prerequisites are met. So we're going to go ahead and do some flashing of some zips, and there's there's two zips, and you got to do it in, in the right order. So we'll go to installs. i got to find where my zips are actually located at. So they should be, let's see if I can find my uh, correct folder. Got to go up a level. Um, we're going to go to storage. Nope, it's not under storage. Here we go. And then I might have mine on ROMs. Okay, so you have two zips right here. And it's pretty simple. One's called uh, the Performance Upgrade Step 1. So that's the one you're going to select. And make sure it's listed it is. And go ahead and swipe across to flash this update. Um, and that's going to be the first thing. It's got to install some things and get them in place so that we can kind of finish the right thing. Now, when it's done here, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to reboot your system. So we'll just uh, let that go. It actually didn't, but it says you should be reboot your system. So we'll go ahead and hit reboot. 
and then we got to do some stuff on the device itself. So we're going to let this thing boot up. So you can see it's just doing a little bit of a upgrade right there and it's finished booting up. So then I'm going to show you what we got to do next here on this. So we got to open this up and we can ignore this for right now. And we're going to go into our app drawer and you're going to notice a couple new applications in the app drawer or at least there should be. Let's see what we have. So there it is. So we have a busy box right there and we have universal in it D support. All right. And then I just opened super sue on accident. So get back out of that. So what we're going to do to get this thing working right is we need to install the busy box. So open busy box, grant it root access, and then just ignore that. It's doing a, a smart install. So it's kind of like scanning some stuff. So let this finish should only take a little bit here. Actually, I think I'm upgrading my Super Suit. Yeah, I am, which is fine. Um, so let this thing just kind of do its first, its little smart scan to make sure it sees everything on the device correctly. That's going to come up with an install option as soon as it's done gathering information. Okay, so there it is. It's done. So just go ahead and hit install, and it's going to install BusyBox. Gives you some information. Hit install, and it should be done. So BusyBox is installed and functioning. Next to what you want to do is go in here to Universal Init D Support and just hit Activate. Hit Go. And it's enabling Init D Support. So it shouldn't take too long, very good. And then check if it worked, just hit Verify. Successful, you have Init D Support. So that's very, very nice. So from here, all we gotta do is get back into bootloader mode. So We'll just go ahead and power off, and we're not bootloader, but I should say we need to get into recovery so we can flash that second zip file. So you know the combo button of home, volume up, and then power. Let go of power, keep holding volume up and home until we see torp recovery. So there it is, you can let go. And basically from here you just flash the next zip. So install and then step two. Make sure step two is listed. Go ahead and flash it. Um, this is really not too hard. It's just a couple steps you gotta do. All the directions are on XDA. So like I said, the links I have, everything you have should be fun and be plenty to figure out how to do this. It does say you can updating, it's updating some build prop stuff, um, tweaking a couple different things. And it's done, so we'll, we'll go ahead and hit reboot. And the device will be boot up and we will have the performance tweaks. Now, there is some applications this is going to install and we want to go ahead and do some tweaks in those to get full, full good performance and enhancements from this tweak and all these zips we're installing. So as soon as this thing boots up, we'll show you that. Again, you can see we're upgrading right there, finishing, and you should be booted up. All right, so we have entity support. We have all the tweaks uh, installed. Let's go ahead and go into our app drawer and show you what has been added. So here you can see you have Clear Audio Plus, you have Greenify, and you have No Frills CPU Control. So let's go ahead and go into No Frills CPU Control. There's two more things that the developer said to go ahead and enable on this. So let's see if we can uh, do that right now. All right, so there was a little bit of a delay waiting for super user rights on here. So don't be you know surprised if that happens for you too. All right, so the th last couple of things that we have to get um, working here are changing some I.O. schedulers and governors. And this is just recommended by um, the developer here. So on demand would be uh, his recommended governor. So then the scheduler, we're going to change it to noop, I guess you'd call it. And go ahead and do that. And then I think we'll actually apply this on boot. And then lastly, you can see some CPU frequencies right here. And we have that uh, 1.2 gigahertz set right now. And everything else looks good. Min-max, so you can change your CPU frequencies now with this application, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then you can view some statistics right here. Reading some stuff right here and look at that if you want to. Go back out of that. But it's a very simple little application. And then we'll hit apply. And we can go ahead and exit. Then you do have Greenify. If you want to know more about Greenify, definitely um, check out my video on it. I have a video on it. Maybe I'll put in the link of the video description here. And then um, audio is just some audio controls right here you can adjust. Um, haven't played with this at all. 
not even any idea how this thing works but definitely some stuff more stuff to play with also but from here this should actually just uh, boost your improvement of uh, your device and make it run faster and smoother probably better battery life and all that if you want to see a full description of what this performance boost does it'll be in the XDA developers link um, that's pretty much it guys that's how to install this and get it going on your device hopefully it speeds up your device and makes this thing run even smoother than it does right now so that's going to be it on the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch uh, installing performance upgrade hope you guys like this video stay tuned for more on this device and we'll catch you guys in the next one root junkie out